Hello, everybody, and welcome to the newscast. This is for the week of January 3rd through January 9th, 2016, and I'm Ryan Shepard. To touch back on something we addressed last week, and just to confirm it, there was a report that suggested that Activision was going to buy MLG, and that ended up being true. They bought MLG, that's Major League Gaming, for $46 million. Their CEO, Bobby Kotick, has been quoted saying that he wants to turn it into the ESPN of esports. I'm going to quickly touch upon a couple of games that were delayed this week. Scalebound, the Xbox One exclusive, was delayed out of 2016 and is scheduled to release sometime in 2017. No exact date has been given, but uh, there was no exact date given the first time around either. It was just a tentative 2016 date. So it looks like Platinum Games, who's developing this game, just needs a little bit extra time to, you know, finish this game up. Another game that was delayed is another Xbox One exclusive called ReCore. Microsoft debuted ReCore at their E3 2015 press conference, and this is actually being created by the co-creator of Mega Man. Uh, it's also been confirmed that this game will also be coming to PC as well as Xbox One, so maybe that's why they need a little bit longer to polish it up. This was scheduled to be released in early 2016, now it's scheduled to be released sometime in the latter part of 2016. Let's have some positive Xbox news, shall we? They just had two games delayed, so there's got to be some silver lining, right? Well, it seems Ark Survival Evolved, which is that dinosaur riding survival MMO that launched in early access uh, a few weeks ago, has reached over uh, 1 million downloads on Xbox One, and the daily player count has actually been higher than it is on PC. This is a good sign for console-based MMOs because it seems like people are a little hungry for them, and uh, you know, maybe we'll see more because of it. So before I get into Oculus Rift, I just want to quickly touch upon a report from Kotaku, who else, that Assassin's Creed, whatever the next Assassin's Creed game is going to be, may not be coming out this year. Now this is kind of a big deal because this is the first time since Assassin's Creed Brotherhood that we haven't seen a yearly Assassin's Creed release. I'm not talking about the little spin-off games or mobile games or anything like that. I'm talking about a big tent pole. Assassin's Creed game. The last one was, of course, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I think this series could definitely benefit from a year off. Ubisoft was very clear in their response and said they don't comment on rumors and speculation, so we'll keep an eye on this. So perhaps the biggest story of the week, depending on your point of view, is that the Oculus Rift VR headset went live for pre-orders this week, and the price tag was also revealed. So this is the first big-time VR headset that's revealed its cost. There's been a few smaller headsets that have come out and said, hey, this is what we're charging. Some of them are actually out right now. But this is the big one. This is one of the big three, as far as I'm concerned. You have Oculus Rift, you have the HTC Vive, and you have PlayStation VR. Oculus Rift was the first one. They were the ones that kick-started, got funded, and then were picked up by Facebook. The price tag is $600. Now, that's not just for the headset. That also comes with a copy of a game called Lucky's Tale, Eve Valkyrie, as well as the Oculus Remote, which I'm not 100% sure exactly what that is. I think it's like a motion detecting kind of thing, kind of like the Wii Remote. Um, a sensor that detects, obviously, where you are in the room. And an Xbox One controller. Add all that up, and you can see where the price tag kind of came from. And let's not forget that the Oculus Rift has a lot of premium parts in it. This isn't just a couple of crappy screens thrown into a visor. This is, you know, these are these are premium stuff. So it's a little shocking because the early development kits were like two to three hundred dollars, and then this is like, you know, twice that. But they've been out making it clear that, you know, they're not ripping people off. These devices actually cost this much to make. We'll definitely keep you up to date on VR because this is going to be a hot topic this year. Like I said, we got PlayStation VR coming out, and at some point, the HTC Vive. And it'll be really interesting to see what those are priced at. Oh, one, la one final note, specifically about PlayStation VR. There was this, I believe it was Amazon Canada, that listed the PlayStation VR at like 1100 Canadian dollars. No verification if this is real or not. I believe it's been taken down already. I just wanted to make sure that that was out there and that... It's not confirmed, so if you see that floating around the internet, don't think, oh my god, the PlayStation VR is extremely expensive or anything like that, because that hasn't been confirmed. Sony's been clear in saying that they want to have it priced around that of a console, 
So you're looking at four to five hundred dollars, in my opinion, at the most. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for January 3rd through January 9th, 2016. You should check out thegamerhawks.com for all the latest, greatest news, reviews, features, all that good stuff. And um, you should check out the YouTube channel because we had a special guest stop by. President Barack Obama decided to stop by and play a little Call of Duty. And you should go check that out. Until next week, this is Ryan signing off.